coming to you from the innovative, immersive Hyundai Virtual Next Weather Sphere. This is Next Weather. Ah, great story. Now this, enjoy the calm weather while you can because it's about to get stormy tomorrow. Time to get you ready for next weather alert. Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly is in the Hyundai next weather sphere with a look at what's heading our way. Yeah, and the nice, uh, the good news here, you, because we, we have some planning time, right? We've been telling you about this for the last four to five days. Out tonight, beautiful sunset. It's a gorgeous evening and temperatures right now. Look at these numbers. You guys in Wilmington. It is 22 degrees warmer than it was at the same time when we met here last night. Up 18 in Philly, up 19 in Allentown. We generally don't get this big of a change very often. It is noticeably warmer out there. In fact, let me open up the window. You can see what it looks like live. I'm going to put up the map and show you what the actual temperatures are right now. I mean, we got temperatures in the mid 40s down the shore, but we're at 58 degrees here in Philadelphia, 56 in Wilmington yesterday at this time we were down in the 30s and that didn't even account for the wind chill. We have 54 in Allentown right now, Pottstown at 56, so it's a very mild evening. Temperatures well above normal and the thing is they're not going to drop much at all tonight because we have our next weather maker that's going to be making its way on in and the winds are kicking up from the south and it is that relatively warm source. So I want to get straight to your future cast. Here it is tonight, six o'clock. Notice it's really quiet around our area. Take you through the overnight hours dry here at 11 o'clock. Even tomorrow morning for your morning drive, we're going to be tracking the weather system getting closer, but other than maybe a spotty light shower or two, no active weather in our area through at least noon. Once we get past that, there's the system. This is two o'clock. The bigger picture, let me get you a localized look here at two o'clock, and this is what we're going to be tracking. This line, this really bright shade of red, it's basically the front that's going to be sweeping through, and along that is where we're going to have the greatest risk for storms, greatest risk for gusty winds, uh, greatest risk for a tornado. It's not a huge risk, but we can't rule it out. So this is a look at two o'clock. Moose starts moving closer to the Poconos, but really more Lancaster and Berks County. A look at three o'clock continues its eastward track, four o'clock. Now we're talking closer to Philly through Montgomery County, Bucks County. It's cut through Chester and Delaware County, right through South Jersey, over the bay into sections of Kent County, Delaware. Five o'clock now throughout South Jersey, six down the shore, seven o'clock it moves out. Now, this is one computer forecast model. It's a high resolution forecast, usually does a really good job, but it's not law. We're going to go on either side of this, give or take an hour or two. So we want you to plan for basically afternoon, early evening, that entire time frame, regardless of where you are. Once that line moves out, we'll get some spotty showers overnight into early Thursday morning, and then it's gone, completely gone. And we move into the next story, which is going to be the breezy and cooler conditions. Total rainfall, three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half, depending on where you are. So localized flooding could be a thing, but the winds, even independent of any storm activity here, seven o'clock in the morning, gusts up to about 30 miles per hour. Watch this 10 o'clock about the same. But as that storm gets closer, now we're looking at a 40 mile per hour gust in Lancaster around noon. Take it to say two o'clock. We're looking at mid 40s, even 50 plus mile per hour winds. Once again, independent of any storm, you get another added 10 miles per hour. We could easily be severe. Here it is. Look at this at four o'clock in the afternoon. Winds 40 to 50 through South Jersey until this whole system moves on out. So that's what we're tracking for you for tomorrow. Temperature wise, we're going to be near 60 degrees. We're going to start out at 52 and those storms are going to roll in here for the afternoon. So it is a bigger deal. Your seven day forecast here. We're going to drop temperatures as we get into Thursday and Friday. You can see that we're there, but it's also going to be windy with temperatures back to the freezing mark as we get into Friday. Sunday, we'll talk about after this. We could see some snow rolling in Saturday night and into your Sunday. But right now, looking live from the weather sphere, it is a beautiful, beautiful Tuesday evening. That is your weather forecast. We'll be right back.